Grant, thousands of people are expected to travel to southern Illinois for the total solar eclipse one month from today. And state officials are encouraging those folks to stay a little longer. Ahmad Lathan is live in the, in the studio to tell us why. Jeff and Kathy, essentially it's a public safety measure. Officials say we could avoid some of the problems they saw back in 2017 if visitors come to southern Illinois for more than the, the eclipse. Representatives from multiple Illinois departments held a news conference this morning at Giant City Lodge in Macanda. They say Southern Illinois has much more to offer than just a prime viewing spot of the eclipse, including dozens of state parks and the Shawnee National Forest. Robert Gra Grafe is the, with the Illinois Department of Transportation. He says if people stay a day or two after the eclipse to visit some of those sites, they can't avoid the bottleneck traffic jams drivers ran into in 2017. If you've ever flown and there's a, surely a guy in row 28 that as soon as they hit the button and he thinks he's going to beat the person out of row one, you know, that's what we experienced last time. So we encourage the traveling public to come down ahead of time, enjoy it, stay a while because that would be the key if everyone would stay over and enjoy the area monday night and leave tuesday you, you would never know know the difference in traffic patterns officials say the 2017 eclipse brought more than 200,000 visitors to southern illinois to help ease the traffic congestion grave says i dot will reduce the number of lane closures around work sites during the dates surrounding the eclipse if you know someone planning an eclipse trip to Southern Illinois, you can direct them to enjoyillinois.com. In the studio, Amaya Lathan, Heartland News.